Arlington City Council is meeting right now to tackle multiple big items. The council is still in session right now at City Hall voting on how the city will regulate short term rental properties. This vote will end a more than two year long debate between hosts and the city. City Council has been working on how to regulate short term housing like Airbnb and Peribo in an attempt to alleviate housing needs in the city's tight market. It will require a short term rental host register with the city and puts limits on the type of units that can be used. There are many current short term hosts and supporters of hosts in Burlington frustrated over the ordinance. It is entirely reasonable to look at regulating this. The city does have a compelling interest to prevent, um, to limit the number of long-term units uh, converted to short-term, um, but I think it needs to be done so in a way that doesn't destroy livelihoods. Burlington's mayor vetoed a previous stricter version of the short-term rental ordinance, saying that a Healthy short-term rental market is important for city revenue and for those who rely on this for additional income. The council unanimously passing the next fiscal year budget that includes additional funds for the police department as part of the mayor's rebuilding plan for the department. Mayor Moreau Weinberger saying it was important that the city council said yes to about a million dollars for recruitment and retention incentives. Community members coming out to the public forum tonight expressing their concerns over the response times right now because of the current understep BPD. Nobody came when I asked for that response and I'm very disappointed in this town. The way that police station is run anyway has not been good. You've got too many shootings all of a sudden. The mayor's hope for the rebuilding plan is to get the department back up to more than 80 officers by the year 2026. Earlier in the meeting, counselors getting an update on the new Burlington High School and Technical Center project. Superintendent of Schools Tom Flanagan was joined by other officials and project leaders breaking down the cost for the estimated $210 million project and a timeline they're trying to stick to. The city already saying they won't support a bond of more than $150 million for a project that will cost $210 million. So between the bond and the fund already secured, the district would still need to fundraise around $35 million. We will not actually know the exact cost of the project for another two month and a half. And that's just the way that the, the, this type of project goes. The district believes a no vote on a bond in November could set the project back a year. That would mean missing their target opening date of fall 2025. And there would then be concerns where students will learn once the lease at the old Macy's runs out in downtown. The community will get a chance to weigh in on the project. A public forum is going to be held on Wednesday about designs.